Well, the SEC uh, said to uh, is set to ban so-called flash trading, and it may be just the first step of a larger regulation of high-frequency trading. Now, we're talking about the type of trading involving advanced computers that many brokerages use to perform thousands of trades per second, and the volume of high-frequency trading is huge. Some uh, estimate, uh, some estimates, I should say, say it's close to 70 percent of all volume in the United States. So, how do we get to this stage? Well, joining us to talk about that is the author of a new book, Nerds on Wall Street, Math Machines and Wired Markets. He is David Lineweber, and he joins us here in studio. David, good afternoon. Good so afternoon Nerds on too. Wall Street is a great title. Why is that? Uh, it's the title of uh, dinner talks that I've been giving for the last 20 years. I was sort of the class clown of the quantitative investment industry. Uh -huh. And if you're going to, you know, people don't want to go to a conference and, you know, with their, with their significant others, their, their wives, their husbands, drink a lot at the open bar and then have some guy come up and show them the yield curve. So I, I love the yield curve personally. But. <laughs> but, uh, it, everything in its place. But I had a lot of pictures. So mm -hmm. they, I started using, doing very visual kind of funny talks. And and uh, that became the, the title. But it's a bigger point, right? Because I think when you write about the kind of nerds are the heart mm. and soul on Wall Street. So what are you saying that well, it's now very, you know, model driven, mathematical models are really kind of driving what a lot well, of... Well, markets are wired. I mean, if you look all around the world, stock exchanges are closing. Mm -hmm. there, there aren't very many that have a floor right. now. And, and the ones that do, a lot quiet. of times it's kind of a set. Um, I was in the, the Deutsche Börse in, in Frankfurt, and they rebuilt it and they have the, the, the big board, the thing that, uh, that everybody in your business stands in front of, right. that's all they've got. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, so it still looks like it's there, but it's just stuff on the floor. So just a matter of time before those floors actually go away in your view? They are gone. They're gone in London. They're gone in Tokyo. NASDAQ never had one. Right. They're shrinking really fast in New York. They're right. shrinking really fast in Chicago. It's just a matter of time. All right. Um, but in terms of these changes, and you know, we've talked an awful lot about high frequency trading over the last couple of weeks. You mm -hmm. know it's gotten a lot of trading. Uh, attention rather flash trading has gotten a lot of attention and you know obviously lots of talk about bans and so on mm -hmm. and so forth are bans happening um, those things are they dangerous to the market in your view some yes some no um, one way to think about this stuff is to play it in slow motion and some things in slow motion, the most common algorithmic trade, right. which is used by all the major investment uh, houses, is the volume weighted average price. And if you play that in slow motion, it's a broker on the floor. When there's a thousand, he says, I'm in for a hundred. When mm -hmm. there's two thousand, he's in for two hundred. He's just sort of participating and you're, you're going to get the price. And there's nothing wrong with a person doing that and there's nothing wrong with a computer doing that. When you look at something like flash trading, what, how does that look in slow motion? That looks like I decide I want to buy a half a day's volume of, say, Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. And I call my broker, and my broker says, oh, this guy's a big buyer of Coca-Cola. And then I go off and I tell the guy in the proprietary trading division, there's a big buyer of Coca-Cola. Let's see what we can round up cheap and get front running. Right. That's what it is. And it used to take a few minutes to front run. Now you can do it in milliseconds. And I think that's why the SEC does not historically move really fast on things. But and it's moving fast this, on this. This was the fastest thing yet big because it's so, uh, it's so clear. But, David, big difference between high-frequency trading mm. and flash trades. It's using the same technology, really. Um, but should but we be making a distinction High frequency the trading is the, is the superset. Flash trading is part of it. Mm -hmm. there, there's, there, there's agency high frequency trading. There's high frequency market making. And a lot of these, those activities are just done more efficient. Are they uh, good for the market? Part of the market? Uh, been around of, for yeah, a long time? I think they have been quite good. Uh, one, of the re, one of the big effects of, of high frequency trading, of algorithmic trading, is you're not paying a quarter a share anymore. Right. Uh, commissions used to be fixed at, at a quarter, and, and now institutions are paying tenths of pennies, right. and individuals are paying pennies. So some good changes there. All right, David, got to leave it on that note. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. David Lineweber, he's author of the book Nerds of Wall Street Math Machines and Wired Market.